Alright, another game we have here, I cannot pronounce the name, so I'm just going to call them purple and orange. But we are looking at a mega random game again here, and both players playing as mans. There's not really much else to point out at this stage, apart from the fact that, well, I've already pointed out that it's mega random, so not much point in saying that again. So let's see how the players actually develop and do this. Sheep scouting naturally, trying to get the map advantage. Playing at mega random, it is extremely important to try and get that map advantage as soon as you can. Um, in the other game you saw, which I probably put up before this one, or at least I hope I put up before this one, um, the gold was all centered in the middle of the map, and finding that first and blocking on that off and taking over that area first naturally was a very big deal. So let's have a look at the map and see what they can't see. We can see they've got three spots of gold each, by the looks of it. That looks like a bit it. And there's a bunch of relics scattered around. So it looks like the main source of gold for this one is going to be these relics. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen relics? Fourteen, fifteen relics. So it means that both players here, they'll see the lack of gold, obviously, so they'd be expecting that either to be a massive stockpile somewhere, or they will have noticed all these relics scattered around. This is a lot of relics scattered, considering. And Eagle Warrior there, taking out this villager, might be able to take it out, but nope, forcing it away from the dock there. Might be able to take this dock out. Oh, this isn't good. 15, 11, 7. And losing that dock. That is a big loss at this stage in the game. Coming up to here and getting up on this eagle warrior here. Good plan and as you can see taking over this middle section quite early on. Going to be able to want to get down there and take out everything around this dock as quickly as possible. However, what are we looking at? We are looking at two boars already in and two, three boars in over here. So either I've missed one down here or one hasn't come in yet. Four boars, so it looks like each player has started off with four boars. Yep, and that is the beauty of Mega Random, and walling off already. So he is now safe from what he can see, I think. Yes, so he's going to have to do walling off pretty much all the way around if he wants to try and use that t that tactic, so... And here we have, we already have villagers moving forward here. So what could the plan be here? Fourth boar in there by the looks of it, and up here... Looks like the fourth boar, yep, fourth boar has already been dealt with. And it's rotting off at this point, that's interesting. And uh, coming up, that's quick! Coming in there very quickly, with the barracks. However, he has managed to see it. So he has Don't seen point it, that thing at me. which is definitely helpful. Barracks up here. Eagle Warrior coming up through here. And the barracks has been seen though, which. and trying to wall it off here. However, anything. doing anything with this barracks? Not doing anything with this barracks. And looks like that Eagle Warrior might just get it. And as you can see, forcing all these villagers to come off resources here. And to wall off these buildings here. However, again, losing more buildings here. That might just get just done there. So as we can see, the galley wall going here, orange, looking like he's going to lose it. Ah, uh, these buildings up here, not a lot going on with them. Creating arches though. So going straight to land base, that's an interesting tactic. However, tower coming up here, unless he can get close into that, he's going to be in trouble. But archers coming up through here, not going to be able to come around here because this wall has come up quite quickly. However, I think that tower there would have been able to cover it. And neither player rushing to castle. Of course, rushing to castle is a dangerous tactic, but when there's this many relics around, it might be worth it just to get the advantage there. And as we can see, purple down over here, fighting in through this side here, so both players are already in each other's base. And making this lumber camp here useless, putting a tower up there and a tower up there, very smart play. However, will this go up? It might not go up. Doesn't look like it's going to go up. 95%, that's just bad luck. But up over here, not a lot going on. Not a lot he can do. Just patrolling around the edges here. A lot of stone there. And 
walling off this side here. Over here, over purple, doing... Well, keeping him off his only gold mine at this point. So the only way he's going to be able to get gold is selling it off. Except there's one back over there. Does purple have another one? Doesn't look like purple has another gold mine. So purple has the like, one, and it looks like orange has two. Interesting. But it looks like there's a lot of stone mines over there. And still a lot of stone mines over here. It looks like this tower here is going to go down, so he's lost this stone mine here. This gold mine, he has this gold mine over here, but I am guessing he won't have it for long. Unless he can put a tower up, of course. But this force here, it looks like it's going to be keeping this all down. Shut it. Uh, going to have to move Lumber Camp soon, which means he's going to have to lose the protection from this tower. Over here, not doing a lot. However, is mining his opponent's stone. Very cheeky move, but always a good one to make. So, taking out that tower there, so losing the protection there. And going to be able to come in through here. As you can see, doing as much damage as he can to the economy. Come over here, seeing this gold and forcing the villagers off it once again. Multiple galleys are coming up over here. I don't know what he's going to be doing with them, honestly. Shooting at a house. Very quaint. But, as you can see, not going to be able to do a lot. So, as you can see, he's very low on gold. He's not going to be able to use that. And, at this point, honestly, it's looking like a good game already. I know there's only 400 points difference, but... It's a big 400 at this stage. We can take out this army here. Losing minimal troops. Yeah, I would say that Purple has this in the bag right now. I will say that. I, I believe Purple has this in the bag right now. Especially with all these extra troops around. And the amount of damage he's done is just incredible. Let's see, is he thinking about going to castle? Looks like he's thinking about going to castle too. If he goes to castle, it's definitely a good game. Especially with this tower here defending off. Towers, of course, still not great versus skirmishes, but they pack a punch. Putting a watchtower up over here. Very, very cheeky move there. Putting this one up. And it doesn't look like it's going to go up. Nope, not going up. That is bad news. However, hiding behind this tower here. Not a bad plan. Cheeky move down over here. But it didn't go through, sadly. And losing this tower over here now to this villager here. Looks like he did lose quite a few trying to take it out, though. So, closing the gap at this point, so it is looking like he's going to be able to come back. The way I saw it before, it did not look helpful. However, going to Castle Age and not going to Castle Age, so he's going to be at a technological disadvantage as well. Putting some barracks up, so obviously that is going to mean Eagle Warriors, which are good versus skirmishes and archers. So, of course, if he gets there first, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. And it looks like this village over here might be in trouble. Don't point that thing at me! And it looks like this tower over here is going down. So, coming into Castle there, we'll have a quick look what he's making. Eagle Warriors. So I was correct. Eagles, of course, going to be able to do quite a bit of damage. And of course, being not very expensive. So just running around and killing off these units here. So, pretty much, up here, Purple's remaining pretty much untouched. He's got a perfect economy. He's not really being hurt. Down over here, though, this is this is the war zone here. This is where the damage is being done. Forcing all these villagers off these farms here, which were, of course, very expensive to make. And putting a castle up over here, that's going to strengthen his position over here. A lot. Obviously, a lot. Just constantly producing evil worries. Putting a castle up here, of course, this tower here might go up first. Looking like it's definitely... No, nope, not going up first. Not going up first the way I'm looking at it. Shot it. Eagle Warriors, of course, with the upgrade. And there we go. So that is Castle coming up there. And that means Plumed Archers. Plumed Archers, of course, are extremely good unit. Siege Workshop, so we can be expecting Rams to come in and take down these towers and to go for this town center in this area here. Um, as you saw before, we had Orange just go into the Castle Age then, but not a lot is going to be able to do. I don't think he's got the resources to put a castle up. He doesn't have the resources to put a castle up unless he's already putting one down. And there's not a lot he can really do. So that is Battle Rams. They're coming into here. And right now, I would say it is good game. 1,000 points up at this stage in the game. Doing a lot of damage. 
there's a lot of flume dashes, and there we go, doing the smart thing and going for relics already, and there we go, game. Naturally, he would not be able to hold off this amount of, well, just pressure that's been constantly put on him. He had pressure on him the whole game, it was a good game, well played by Purple. Um, hope you liked the game, and remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.